Good morning and welcome to the enclosure. Uh, today I'm going to seal an eyes uh, with uh, some Chico sealing compound and, and uh, fiber. Uh, the reason that uh, you seal eyes, uh, typically the only place that they exist in single family construction is when there is a below grade pump station and you want to prevent uh, fumes that may be present in the sump coming from the municipal connection uh, or even fumes that build up from the groundwater uh, from entering the dwelling. Uh, so you're sealing around the wiring bundle inside the conduit to prevent uh, gases from moving up. You're also preventing moist air from traveling through the conduit from the sump up into the conduit into the main control panel where it could condense on surfaces and cause corrosion. So uh, the first step is to take the packing and to jam it uh, down around the, the wiring bundle and in between the wires and then we'll mix up the, uh, the Chico compound. It's a ratio of two uh, of the compound to one of water, which I've already uh, measured out here. And uh, let's see how we make out. So the, uh, the eyes has two plugs on it. One fits uh, your half inch uh, driver and the other one fits your uh, quarter inch driver. And the idea is that you, uh, you use the larger plug to put in the fiber, then you put the plug in, and then you pour the liquid down the smaller hole until it comes up to the top of the, of the smaller hole. So let's see how we make out. You're supposed to use uh, wooden instruments, so I have a, a wooden uh, siding cut off. I also have like a dental pick that has no sharp edges, it's all rounded which I can use for separating the, uh, the fibers, or the, sorry, the wires. <coughs> and the idea is that first you are supposed to bring the wires to the front and then pack in the fiber behind them. So I'll start doing that. And I'll just, uh, I'll fast forward you uh, when I'm not uh, having anything uh, interesting to say. The idea is to uh, separate each of the conductors so that the sealing compound can flow around them and seal them. Uh, that's a little bit difficult here because we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten fibers. We've got the, uh, the power supplies for uh, uh, both pumps and then we've got all of the sensors. There's three sets of sensors. I think that's uh, pretty good. I'll uh, take a photo to give you a good uh, close-up of it. You can see here that the uh, fiber, or sorry, the um, conductors all have spaces between them. They do say it's important to ensure that the fiber is not uh, flowing or uh, adhere to the side of the uh, 
the eyes so that there isn't a leakage path. The fibers are obviously porous and uh, can uh, allow moisture to seep through. Well, I think I think we got her. So now we can put on the main plug. You just kind of do this one snug for now until you have uh, finished pouring it in and then you can uh, tighten it up a little bit more. I was quite relieved when I opened this up to see that there wasn't uh, any condensation yet because really this should have been done in uh, September and I'm only doing it now in uh, January, the end of January. It's supposed to be uh, fairly liquid. Obviously, so you can you can pour it in. It's probably a, a form of hydraulic cement, uh, a non-shrinking cement. But uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not making up a full batch, so uh, I'm. Uh, just uh, going by feel as to how much water so I know roughly what the consistency is supposed to be okay now this would be easier with a funnel I don't have one so I'll use the material safety data sheet as uh, well, let's do the data sheet and not the instructions and make a funnel out of that At least that's the plan. This has been out in the garage for a while, so it's uh, a little bit damp. Should get close to what I need. Let's see how we make up with that. A little bit tighter. Oh, if you heard that click, that's uh, one of the pumps turning on. Uh, pump two has uh, just uh, started. So those that have uh, followed my website will uh, remember that it's the <coughs> groundwater around the foundation that I'm collecting via the drain tile into the what well, it's called the deep well sump that's then pumped up and normally that gets pumped straight into the um, municipal sewer but instead I'm pumping it into a cistern which is then used to uh, feed the irrigation uh, on my yard and my two neighbors yard as well as the uh, toilet circuit uh, that I have inside the house. And I've estimated that I'm pumping somewhere in the neighborhood, well, during the summertime, uh, a thousand gallons uh, a day uh, out of that perimeter drainage. Okay, I think we finally got this. Took a lot longer than it should have. Most things do here. Make sure this is still good. Get to 
tiny, tiny bit more water. Okay, let's see how we make up here. got some room in there. I think we are getting full here. That's just about uh, Full now. Give it a tap, maybe. So that took it down a bit. Not quite a bit. And you want to make sure it's not coming through, which it's not. My uh, my funnel is done. There's a little bit left here. Obviously, trying to do this without making a big mess. Like I said, I should have had a funnel. be about it. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Okay, so that's uh, air sealing and eyes with Chico compound. Uh, all that's left now is to let it set up and then uh, I'll tighten this up a little bit more and put the, the top uh, cap on and we're finished. So thanks for visiting. <laughs>